fact, that's probably what I'm gonna do real quick. Let's go over to Kakariko. Because there's a shop where we'd be able to buy them, surely. If it's not night before we get up here, come on, come on, come on. Don't do this. I still think there's time. Yes, there is. Good. Right, so the shop is on the top left here. Right over here. And you can enter it. I think it's this one that we want. The other one's a potion shop. Yeah, this is the one we want. So we can hold up to 40. I have 10 right now. That's 50. We want this one. No, I'm not gonna buy more. What the heck? We should be full on them now. I don't care what the price was, just because I can afford it, trust me. We're about to get, like, 150 rupees, right? So I think we can afford it. <laughs> So, one of them is going to be by Zora's River. Another one. Two of them are by Kokiri Forest for sure. Don't know where the last one is though. Hmm. I'm not sure. One of them is this way. Right here. If you back up, they go in the direction that you're facing. If you're fast enough, you can chase them. There we go. Aha! That was actually really lucky. <laughs> and the last one it, or not the last one. Uh, a couple of them should be over here by Kokiri Forest. If I remember right. One. There's gonna be two of them that are over here. Because we got the one by the rock. Say goodbye to Dwayne, guys. We got that one. So there should be a couple over here. Where at exactly, I can't remember. We're gonna have to just wander around. I think one of them is between these two trees. No? There's one. Come on. Don't go missing all of them. Wow. Lame. Well, that's one of them. Where's the other? Well, we'll try and get this one again. God, meh. Come on. Oh, hello. There's one. There we go. That's at least one of them. Or there's two of them now. Now, if we're lucky enough to get the third before running out of arrows, that's the deal here, Daryl. Can we get the third one? Because that would be nine out of the way. Now, it happens every single time we've passed that rock, so we're going to pass this rock again. There we go. That was just me sucking, apparently. There we go. And we'll go cash that in. 
Now the real question is where the last one ends. I got the two over by Gerudo Valley. One up by the cat, the two up by the castle, one by one on ranch, one by Zora's River, and the two down here, and then the one by the rock. Where's the where's the last one? Mm. Oh come on, you should have jumped that. Come on, you should have jumped that. What the heck, Capona? We're gonna go over here. Picked up some arrows. That's always good. Stop. And we'll drop down and head on inside. I just have to wander about the field for a bit. <laughs> Unless I'm lucky right off the bat. I'm still trying to determine whether or not I'm going to do like some cut and paste editing for this section. Just to hit the high points whenever I get each item. That kind of thing. Because otherwise we're going to be doing a lot of side questing. It's going to take up like a lot of videos. At least like two or three. That's a lot of videos, isn't it? Anyway, we need one more. Now, where is he? Hmm. Hey. Stop by you. No rupees. Sad day. Let's see, is there another patch of... There was a patch of grass around here, wasn't there? Oh no, it was the one we just passed. Never mind. Um, hmm. There's one. We got 20 arrows now. We pick up some more, perhaps. I might have to edit out while we're searching around for that last toe. Found him. There we go. Right. Okay, so he's over by whatever that is. What the heck is that thing? Is that just like a a reinforced cliff? What is this? What is the purpose? There's just a wall. Why is it there? Does it help with the structure of Lamon Ranch somehow? And I just don't understand. Oh well. Maybe it's just for decor. Regardless, let's go ahead and turn this boo in. Boo! Poe! What is this? I don't even play a lot of Mario games. Why am I calling them boos? They look nothing like a boo either. But I suppose I play Luigi's Mansion quite often, actually. Usually if I'm playing on my 
on the Wii, usually I'm playing a GameCube game, and usually it's Luigi's Mansion or Super Mario Sunshine. <laughs> oh, you brought another Poe. Right. This should be our last one. Yes, this should be our 1,000 points, right? Wait a minute. Whoa! You have earned a 1,000 points. I know. It's amazing, isn't it? Is that what you expected me to say? Hehe, <laughs> we're a ghost hunter. Because of you, I have extra inventory of big pose, so this will be the last time I can buy a ghost. You're thinking about what I promised would happen when you earned a thousand points. Hehe. <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't forget. Just take this. We're a happy man, we got an empty bottle. It'll help in the ice cavern, I suppose. Or if we have to get, like, a whole bunch of, uh bugs for some of the golden skulltulas later on they'll be useful anyway so now the fun begins we get to start collecting things or actually we're gonna collect a couple of things um, first of all we're gonna go to Lake Halea because we can do a couple of things early, even though, well, we've not finished the water temple, so the lake's not full, but we should be able to get there early, because we have the Scarecrow song. So we're gonna go down here. And... jump in here. Now I'm going to stop Epona there because we can actually I'm going to go do that, that, and that. There's a bomb spot, I think, is it right here? Yeah, there it is. And if we fall down here, there's a piece of heart that we can get from this dude. Up. All right, you win. In return for sparing me, I will sell you a piece of heart. One piece, ten rupees. It is. Uh, of course we'll accept that deal. It would be ridiculous not to accept that. Sadly, that's the only one he'll sell you, unfortunately. <laughs> now, from here... Wait a sec, how do I get over? Shouldn't there be a ladder? Oh wait, there is a ladder, never mind. It's on this side. Because I don't think you can actually ride Epona over there. I don't think she can jump over that gate. So, we're gonna jump down here. And we'll go over here. Now then... While we're here, what I'm going to do is we're going to go fishing. Because I believe we can do it at this point. Could be wrong. Now we actually, I think we need to go down here to the, where the scarecrows were. Because these dudes never forget a song, right? Hey, aren't you the fairy buddy I met a long time ago? Wow, you grew, dude. Well... Here's your song. What? No, I never forget. You, you're the one who forgot, aren't you? If you have an ocarina, play that song, baby. So basically, hey, it's the ocarina. Play that song with it, baby. And you play the scarecrow song, and that allows you to use scarecrow song everywhere. Oh yeah, that's it. That's the tune. You rock. I'm blown away. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't forget the song. I never forget anything. But I just feel like rewarding you, baby. I have a good idea. My buddy Pierre is wandering around, so play that tune when you want to call him. I'll tell him to help you if he's nearby and he hears that song, baby. So... One of the places you can use it is right over here. 
See, Navi's yawn over there. If you play it over here. It'll pop up over there, and with your hook shot, if I don't get attacked by a tech type first, I knew he would. God. Tech type. Goodbye. If we go like this, we can get up here early before the lake fills back up from the water temple. So, now we're about to have some fun. Because it's time to fish. Hello. Well, do you want to go fishing for 20 rupees? Yep, yes I do. Wow, you have a rumble future. Today you can feel the vibration, young man. Okay, listen up. Walk up to the water's edge and press L to look at a fish. While looking at a fish, you can cast your line with B. Press A to break the line. When you lure, when you, when the lure drops into the water, you can wiggle it with the analog stick. If you're a novice, you can also use B. Reel in your lure with A. Hold down A and reel and R to reel it faster. If you feel a hit, press A and the analog stick down to set the hook. After that, reel it in with A. Do you understand? Yeah. I'm so generous, I'll let you fish for as long as you want. However, you can only keep one fish. The biggest fish ever caught here weighed seven pounds. After you cast, you can change your view with L. Right, let's fish. So basically, our first goal is to catch a 10 pounder. And then our second goal is to catch a 15 pound fish. And basically, yeah, this could take a while. So I'm probably going to speed through this part. I'm not even going to talk. So enjoy the music or whatever I throw on. Nine pounds, really. Eleven pounds, yes. Now that <clears throat> that should be able because you have to at least get ten. Weigh my fish. Whoa! This fish is huge. It looks like a new record. It weighs at least 11 pounds. Seriously. Okay, here's your prize. Whoa! No. no then it has to be a 10 pound. That's lame. So we have to find one that's slightly less than that. Wow.
15 pounds now. Yes. That is a whole different one. Can I get this beforehand then? What do you want? Weigh my fish. Whoa! This fish is huge. It looks like a new record. It weighs at least 15 pounds. Seriously, okay, here's your prize. That should be a golden scale. Right. So that's part of it. Now we need to get five less pounds. So that's the best you can get. The fun begins of finding the 10 pounder. Dear Lord. I bet it's you, isn't it? You are the one over on that other log. off the log. Ten. Nineteen pounds. Holy crap. I think that's the best I've ever caught, to be honest. That's wonderful. I'm looking for a ten pound fish. As it turns out, the 10 pound fish is actually as a kid, if you want a piece of heart. Hey, hey, you can't take the rod out of here. When you quit fishing, return the rod to the counter. I'm serious. Well, fine. But anyway, I ended up catching a 19 pound fish, as I probably show showed. Now, there's actually something you can do here. Now, I think you actually have to do this as a kid. But you can actually grab his hat if you're good enough. I think you actually have to do it as a kid, though. 
ride. Off we go then. There's still a couple of things we can do. Let's see, so I'm gonna drop down from here. And we can actually still do a couple of them. So, first of all, we can go in here. And with the golden scale, you can dive all the way to the bottom of this. Like so. And you go all the way back to the top and talk to the professor. Hello. You may not have noticed, but I've been watching you. You touched the bottom just now. Fantastic. I'll give this to you. And so we get a piece of heart for that. Right. Now, next... I don't remember what side of the building it's on, but... You can play the Scarecrow song. Well, Navi's flying above me, so obviously this isn't gonna work. Or it is, okay. But you can do this if you're close enough. There we go. And you can get the piece of heart on the very top of here. Now hopefully the birds don't get me. So we get this one. Now that puts us at three. That leaves... Yeah. Why did that sound like the, like, selecting something on Sonic Adventure 2? On, like, the main menu screen? Yeah. Right. So the next thing that we're going to grab then is we're going to hop on Epona, and I believe we need to go up to a tree. Uh, right next to Gerudo Valley. That's the note I have on my notebook here as I'm marking it off. It's a tree next to Gerudo Valley. So it should be over here. This is another piece of heart, by the way. So it's a tree between Gerudo Valley and Hyrule Castle. Probably gonna guess... Is it that one? bomb right here. Indeed. In order to get this piece of heart, you have to be able to swim all the way down. Or have the iron boots. We can swim all the way down. Because we got the golden scale. Radio. So that leaves that we can go up. And right now we're gonna head over to Zora's Fountain so that we can start stuff for the side uh Bigoron Sword side quest. So we need to go over this way. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do -do -do. 